Welcome to Lynx. Today I'm going to show you how to develop and deploy an API using Postman and Lynx. Postman is an API collaboration platform that is really good at the design and testing of APIs and the workflow around it. Lynx is a low-code development platform. It is a quick and easy way to develop and host your API. Both can be used to generate and host API documentation, but for today I'll use Lynx. Our product API has two endpoints, one to retrieve all products and one to retrieve a single product given its ID. The API will get the data from an existing product database. Our workflow will be add the OpenAPI 3.0 spec to our Postman workspace, add tests in Postman, develop the API in Lynx, while debugging in Lynx, test it with Postman. Deploy the API to a Lynx server which will host the live version. Test the deployed API with Postman. This is Postman. In Postman we work in workspaces. I'll add this API to my sandbox workspace. In a Postman workspace we can add collections of API requests, APIs, environments, mock servers and monitors. I'm only going to use collections and APIs and ignore environments because we only have one and mock servers because we're going to use links to implement the real thing. Go to APIs and create an API. We're going to call it product, set its version to 1.0.0 and accept the open API 3.0 schema type. The first step is to define the API. Postman gives me a default definition to help me get started. I'm replacing it with our product API definition. Once we're happy with the definition, we save it and go to develop. In this case, we don't need mock servers or documentation because we're developing the API with links that gives us a real server with documentation out of the box. So we're skipping develop and going to test. We are going to test our API as we build it, so let's create a test suite. When we go to collections, we can see that Postman has generated one call for each of our endpoints. This is the call to get all products. It does not require any parameters. And there are no tests defined yet. When we click on send, we get a cause error. Not surprising, because we don't have a working API yet. So let's get the API up and running and check whether we can connect before adding the tests. This is the Lynx Designer, a low-code IDE where we'll build the API. To get started, we'll create a solution. The Solution Explorer contains all the types, functions and services that make up the solution. This working area contains the logic for the items selected in the Solution Explorer. The Plugins panel shows the installed plugins. Plugins contain functionality that can be used in the solution. Our product API is a REST API, so we'll install the REST plugin. In the REST plugin, there is a REST host service that we'll use to host the API. Drag it onto the canvas to create one. In the properties of REST host, click next to the API definition and paste the OpenAPI3 definition we just designed 
with Postman into the editor. Links creates an event for every operation in the OpenAPI definition. These events are fired when an endpoint is called. Set the base URI to localhost. Now that we have the basic structure of the API set up, we can run it in the Lynx debugger and check that we can connect with Postman. In Postman, we'll send again. The call works, but returns no products, as expected. In Postman, we can run all the tests for the API at once. Go to the top level folder and press the Run button and run all the tests. As we can see, they both complete successfully, but they do not have any tests. I'll add some tests to get all products. So I'm going to add some tests to get all products. I'm testing that we get more than 20 products and that their IDs are greater than zero. And while we're here, let's do the same for get product by ID. The product ID param will set to three. And I'm testing that the ID is the same as the ID in the path. To run the tests in Postman, we go to the top node and click the Run button and run the tests. Both returned, but the tests failed. In Lynx, we can see the calls that were made. So let's stop the debugger and implement the Get All Products operation. Let's start by returning some dummy data. We add a set value. Set the target to the response 200 field on the output and the source to the data. Postman generated samples for us when we created the tests, so I'm going to use that. Let's debug the event. Click Debug. Set a breakpoint. Start the session. Execution stopped before the set value. The response is still empty. When we step over, the response value is set. We can also debug the REST service and run the Postman tests against the API while in the debugger. Select the service, click Debug, and start. Go to Postman, select the endpoint, and click Send. Back in Lynx, we can see the debugger stopped on the breakpoint. Click Resume, and back in Postman, we can see the data returned by Lynx. So let's get the data from our database. Install the database plugin. Drag the execute SQL function from the database plugin onto the event. Supply the connection string. Specify the query.
we would like the list to be returned, so we change the return option to list of rows. We change the set value to use the result of the execute SQL as the source. Let's debug the event. I'll add a breakpoint on set value so we can see what's happening. The data returned from execute SQL looks OK. I'll step over to see whether the final result looks correct. Now that it's working, let's see what Postman has to say. We'll start the REST host debugger. The list all products endpoint is working. Let's get the other one to work. Add execute SQL. The execute SQL needs a connection string again. Instead of duplicating the one we used in get all products, we're going to create a setting and reuse it in our functions. We'll call it DB connection and make it a secret. Map the connection string to the setting. Now we can just reuse the setting. Set SQL to select the product Change the return option to return a single item. And use set value to set the 200 response to the item returned from the database. I'm feeling lucky, so let's start the REST service in the debugger and see whether our Postman tests pass. Great, everything works. So far, we've run our tests against the API hosted on the Lynx designer. Our next step is to deploy the API to a server and test the deployment with Postman. I've closed the debugger. Let's save the solution and call it Product API. I'll deploy it to my local Lynx server. Let's go to my Lynx server. Once it has loaded for the first time, we need to supply the settings. On the Services tab, we must start the REST host service. And now that it's running, let's run the Postman tests. we can see all the tests are passing. And in Link Server, we can see that we've received one call on each endpoint. One last thing I want to add is documentation. To add it, we'll switch back to Link's Designer, select the REST host service, and set the documentation property. Now we deploy the new version, Once it has loaded, we can test it in our browser. 
we point to our local host server and add the Swagger endpoint. There it is, our two endpoints and the schemas. That's it. To recap, we defined our API schema in Postman, then we developed the API in Lynx while testing it in Postman, and finally we deployed the API to a Lynx server. Thanks for watching, and for more information, visit lynx.software.